never-ending array of assimilated facts from the ancient record shining a light on the truth regarding the global perceptions of our kind is one of the great unifying realizations of the century. The spirit in the sky, the being of light, the God whom the observers worshiped across cultural divisions was the same manifestation of events happening at the same time across the earth. The similarities are mind blowing. The squatter man is represented everywhere and it proves that earthlings were affected by an event that would trigger widespread documentation in the form of petroglyphs. An event that was understood to the observer, yet the progressive understanding did not hold as we re-emerged into a world crushed by destruction and in the process of remembering the global event of the squatter field, we instead forgot across the course of time and within the fear of the trauma, our kind became heavily influenced by fear. Wait till you hear this. The voodoo religion is yet another example of how the thoughts manifested through the course of time. The observer of the squatter field would pass down the verbal remembrance and this assimilates not only in voodoo, but in all world belief stories wherein overwhelming vision is mentioned. This means that a connection can take place between the tribes of Africa and the aboriginals of Australia. From the early civilizations of the Americas to the wilderness of Siberia and even as far north as Norway or even Hawaii for that matter. And these far flung locations at the further ends of our planet, we see a documentation in the petroglyph record and in rock art that tells the tale of the greatest story ever told. The story of belief and how it began when Earthling saw something in the sky. The core belief of voodoo is that one God does not interfere in daily lives, but that spirits do. Connection with these spirits can be obtained through various rituals such as dance, music, chanting, and snakes. Voodoo literally means spirit, and its fundamental principle is that everything is spirit. Humans are spirits who inhabit the visible world, and the unseen world is populated by the spirits of ancestors and the recently deceased. All these spirits are believed to live in a mythic land called Genin, a cosmic Africa. The God of the Christian Bible is understood to be the creator of both the universe and the spirits. The spirits were made by God to help him govern humanity and the natural world. And this explanation is a literal representation of the God whom once shone bright, a manifestation going through very discreet phases. The spirits are the aurora radiating in the sky and the God is the squatter field manifestation. The primary goal and activity of voodoo is to serve the spirits, to offer prayers and perform various devotional rites directed at God and particular spirits in return for health, protection, and favor. In 1685, France banned any practicing of African religion in its colonies. People kidnapped as slaves had to be converted within eight days of their arrival with constant baptism taking place in an effort to destroy voodoo. But the religion did not die. Instead, it simply merged with Catholicism. Voodoo is the encompassing of three African tribe religions brought together in the 1700s in New Orleans who agreed the God of the Bible was the same God of the tribe religion of voodoo. This cannot be overlooked. Where religions can agree cross-culture means the same worship is taking place and in our indifference, we find astounding connections that shows us that there were more unified with our thought progression than we could have ever envisioned. For the people who came to fear voodoo, well, that must have been a deep fear within the trauma of the human condition. Somewhere lurking deep in the mind can trigger a fear in even the most logical of minds. This is because of the squatter man event. We can see how this affects our kind no matter where they are present on 
the Earth. The voodoo doll is an interesting concept. It puts the power of the spirits into the hands of the creator. It gives power of thought over outsiders. It's also an urban legend instigated when the tribes were forced into labor. Thought to have been confused by African folk magic called hoodoo. Anywho, we just wanted to bring the voodoo connection to your attention in the Squatterman investigation. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.